Hi there, my name is Mrs. Elke. I'm a art teacher and I am going to share with you today a little legend before we start with our art project. So there's a legend that there was a little girl who went to church on Christmas Eve and she really wanted to have something special to give to the baby Jesus. And unfortunately, she didn't have much. So what she did was pull a couple of weeds from outside and she thought maybe they would be nice enough to give to the baby Jesus. So the little girl brought these little weeds inside of the church and somehow they transformed into these beautiful flowers that you might recognize as poinsettias. And when that happened, she was filled with joy because now there was something beautiful to give to the baby Jesus on Christmas Eve. And these special flowers ever since have been known as flowers of Christmas Eve or Flor de Noche Buena and have been used in Christmas celebrations all over the world. Now this legend takes place in Mexico and that's where these flowers are from. But as you know, maybe you've seen poinsettias all over the place. We use them in the United States all of the time in our Christmas celebrations and not only in red, but in other colors as well. Usually red or white, but some of the decorations and the artificial plants have them in a lot of different colors. So today we are going to be painting a poinsettia. I have this lovely painting here. And to do this, we're only using markers and water. That's it. So get those things ready. I'll show you exactly what I will be using and see if you can follow along in painting this beautiful Christmas poinsettia. For this project, you will be using some paper. I recommend watercolor paper, something thicker. We'll have a cup of water, a paintbrush, some washable markers, and a Sharpie. I'm going to begin with my Sharpie. If you're more comfortable starting with a pencil and then tracing your lines with Sharpie, you can do that as well. I'm starting with a circle in the middle of my paper, adding another one and another one. You can do more than three, but I'm just using three circles. Next, I'm going to add a straight line that comes out from the circles. Then I'm going to add wavy lines on either side of that straight line. This looks like a leaf but will actually be the petals of the flower. I'm gonna do that again on the side. Straight line first, wavy lines on either side. Notice I do want the end of them to be a point. So I'm trying to make it a point at the end and then come down towards the center where the circles are. I'm gonna do another one over here Notice they don't have to be the same size or shape. There's also not an even spacing between them and that's okay as well. And there you have my first five petals. Now I'm going to go in between my previous petals and I'm gonna make some new ones that are a little bit longer. So I'm starting with a longer line in the center and then adding the wavy lines again. I'm looking for spaces kind of in between the other petals and then adding my straight line in the middle and my curve lines on the side. I'm gonna do that again over here with lines that are a little bit longer. 
I'm going to do that right here since there's a nice space. And I will do that over here as well. Pretty much anywhere that there's some space in between other petals, you can add more petals. Now this is a nice center, but I want my flower to be quite a bit larger than this. So I'm really gonna try to go big with my next layer. My center lines are gonna be a lot lar larger, a lot longer, and a lot wider. You can see this petal is huge compared to the ones that I had before. I'll do the same over here, making a huge petal compared to the ones I had before. And over here, making a huge petal compared to the ones I had before. Over here as well to really try to fill up the space of my paper. I ended up having six large petals it's okay if you have a different number than I do. Now I also just wanted to add a couple other smaller petals in between some of my larger petals, um, just kind of as a little back, background ones to add a little bit of extra layer. This is optional, you don't have to do this. I just wanted to kind of fill up some of the spaces a little bit with maybe some background petals that are behind my large ones. Okay, now that I have all of my petals drawn out, I do want to add a couple of leaves. So my leaves are going to start just like my petals with a long line. And I'm going to go out to the side. And then just to show the difference, I'm going to add the veins of the leaves using diagonal lines that come out from the center of the leaf, like so. I'm going to do another leaf over here the same way with that center line and then I'm going to add the vein lines as well so that it looks like a leaf instead of a petal since the petals look so leaf-like. I'm just going to add one more on this side too. Center line and the lines along the outside to create the leaf. There are the veins, and we have a beautiful Christmas flower. Throwing one more petal in, just because it looked like it needed something in that space. Okay, time to paint. So I'm gonna start with the yellow in the center of my poinsettia. And I'm just making lines near my black lines. I am not coloring with a the marker. Then I'm going to switch to red and I'm gonna do the same thing on the petals. So I'm just making a line that goes along the lines of the petals with my marker and I'm not coloring them in. I'm also going to trace the center line of the petals as well. Next, I'm going to take my paintbrush and dip it into just clean water. And I'm going to spread the marker color around inside of the shapes. So I'm starting with the circles, spreading the yellow around in the circles. 
Next, I'm going to use the red and I'm gonna spread the red around in the petals. I'm gonna keep doing that all the way around. If for some reason you're thinking it's a little bit too light, you can always add a little more marker. It also sometimes takes just kind of scrubbing at the marker a little bit to get the water to kind of do its thing. So there I have my first layer of petals. I'll put my paintbrush down and I'm gonna go ahead and work on the next layer, adding the red along the lines and then painting them in with the water. Since there's so much repetition in this, I am speeding my video up so you can see the results a little bit faster. So I just continue to work around my flower. I'm trying to use the side of my marker so I get a nice fat line. And then of course I'm painting it in again. Do you have lots of poinsettias in your home for Christmas time? I know we use them a lot. We also see them a lot in our church. And of course the stores are filled with them. Now that I'm done with the red, I'm gonna do the same thing on the green. I'm gonna trace the lines with the green marker and then I will go over it with my water. Now, if your red is not quite dry and you start on your green, the colors can bleed together a little bit. This actually happens a little bit on my top petal. You can see how there's some red kind of seeping into my green. And that's okay a little bit. Or if you want to avoid that, you may just want to wait until your petals are dry before you do the leaves. Thank you so much for painting with me today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back again for more fun art projects. We'll see you next time.